Hi, I'm Jeff from Synchro Arts. I'd like to play for you a recording of seven tracks of a horn section. You'll hear some notes start or stop a bit differently. Now, I'd like to play the same section after using Revoice Pro to tighten the tracks, but leaving some natural looseness. That took less than a minute to achieve with Revoice Pro's Audio Performance Transfer, or APT, function. I'll show you how easy it is to do this, and in case you're wondering, it also works on vocal stacks. Let's start by taking a quick look at the audio tracks in this Revoice Pro window, which can easily be transferred from your DAW or dropped in from audio files. You can see you have some notes from the same horn a little early, and then some notes a little late. Here the decrescendos and crescendos are slightly different, and here you can see the hits are slightly variable. So to fix this, you can't just simply slide the track around, but it requires looking at hundreds of individual notes and deciding whether to move or time compress or expand them. Let's now show you in real time how Revoice Pro helps with this. First of all, we need to create some output tracks to put our automatically adjusted tracks into. So we bring up the Add Tracks menu and create six tracks. And the first one we name Out1. Press Add and we can see the new tracks named Output 1 to Output 6 on the screen. To make it easy to audition and compare our input and output tracks in this video, we've made an input group already of the seven horn tracks, and we're now going to make an output group from the six output tracks, and make sure we've included track 1, the first sax track, because we're going to use that track as our timing guide to align the six output tracks to. Now we can set up and do the processing. To start that, we simply right-click here and select New APT to bring up the new process window. And we'll tell it to use the first horn track as the guide for timing. And we'll align each of these other tracks to it with the amount of tightness we want. Here's the selected process name, APT. We want the process to take place within the span of the blue playback range running from here to here. We're selecting a processing preset named Music Gaps in Dub Slightly Loose that will leave the output tracks not too tight. Here we specify that the first sax track is the guide track. Here we select the second sax track as the first track to be processed, which we call a dub. We want this first processed output to go to Out1, and we want six processed input and output tracks one after the other. We can now press New Process. And in that amount of real time, we have our six output tracks aligned to the input. To listen, we can solo the output tracks and the guide track and play them. I think you should be able to hear the differences already. And now here are the unprocessed tracks. and the processed ones. Visually, you can see the alignment differences in the output tracks, where the timing of the notes has been modified to match the guide's timing. You can see that although the shapes are very different, the main high energy parts line up much more closely. But most importantly, many natural differences are still visible and audible, making the result still sound natural, but better. I hope you found this useful, and thanks for watching.